Hey guys, with my Micromax Unite 2 phone and uh, as you can see I am running Android version 4.4.2 on this. Recently Micromax has developed and released uh, Android version 5 for this phone which is Android Lollipop but uh, they have not given the update on OTA yet. They have not given the update on their website also. So what's available is uh, one of the blog which is publishing the android version and last evening i was uh, out with a friend in the market and he needed a new phone with a budget of 6000 rupees so i suggested him micromax unite 2 and uh, we went to the shop and the shopkeeper told me that the micromax unite 2 new shipment is coming with android version 5 so if you are going to buy the micromax unite 2 in next couple of days make sure you get it from the new lot which has a factory installed android version 5.0 and other specification is all same quad core processor 1.3 gigahertz 1 gb of ram and a very good ui so let's flashing android version 5 on micromax unite 2 a106 so before i begin the flashing process let me tell you the drivers installed i have again put a link for driver download please go through the instructions and install the driver properly because without the drivers being properly installed you are not be able to flash the new rom so make sure you back up all the data contacts messages as most many of applications have problem migrating data from android version 4 to 5 so i highly recommend you to use a backup procedure which can give you data retention most probably the popular backup applications would not be able to restore your data on a newly flash android version 5 rom there are issues there may be the root issues so keeping that in mind i take no responsibility if you damage your phone or if you lose your data so please back up your data the way you want it so this is the micromax a106 lollipop based rom this is shown as software version 10 hw something so i'll i have downloaded a zip file which is approximately 733 mb in the compressed form now i am trying to extract this to my one of the folders so now i have this folder extracted on my pc this is a lengthy and large size folder and if you view the properties it is almost 1.44 gb so you need this much of space to be able to flash lollipop based rom i am repeating again make sure you have the backup for your internal sd card for your, all your data for your contacts and whatever is important on your phone it should be backed up uh, people who have already flashed this so to proceed with flashing of newer ROM you need to switch off the phone. You can shut it down using the power menu. Wait for it to vibrate and confirm the proper shutdown. And in the meantime you can open the SP flash tool. Link for this tool is already in the description of this video. So once SP flash tool opens just go to the folder you have downloaded this ROM onto and select this android 6582 scatter file click on the open button it will load all the files and show the path for the each of the file which is it has loaded up so once this process is done just come to back come back to your phone open the back cover take out the battery So once SP2 loads up with all the necessary files, you, all you need to do is click on the firmware upgrade button. It will start searching for the device. In the meantime, take the USB cable and just plug it in to your phone without having the battery inside the phone. You don't need battery for this flashing purpose. Once you plug in the USB cable to your phone, just connect the USB wire to your laptop or PC whatever you are using. This section will detect your phone and start the flashing processor. It is showing USB high speed. It is also showing preloader USB VCOM on COM3. 
this tool will take a while do not disconnect your phone do not power down your pc make sure your pc is connected with a uninterrupted power supply or your laptop has enough charge to go through all this process else if you plug it out or if your phone is disconnected from the computer during this process the phone will get damaged and will need a very hardcore level of flashing to restore it so i assume you guys understand the risk on the by doing this and this is going to take a while i am going to pause this video and wait for the progress to complete while the phone is being flashed please do not touch or try to clean your phone most people try to use this time by just fiddling with their phone just avoid it keep your both hands off your pc and off your handset you don't need to panic just wait for a while as you can see almost 5 minutes of progress and 89% of flashing has been completed 5 minutes 21 seconds and 100% flashing has been done for the main files now this is updating some other system files and i have got the firmware upgrade with a green sign this means the software was sent to the phone without any errors now let's check out the phone how does it boot up once you have flashed the rom using sp flash tool all you need to do is insert the battery onto the phone replace your back panel so that you can easily access the power button and turn the phone on and wait for the wait for the lollipop to boot uh, first time pausing this video and wait for the booting so after a minute or so i am with the lollipop interface now it is asking me to select the language now it is turning on the wi-fi i have the available wi-fi i'll add a wi-fi and see what happens so after entering the wi-fi details it is checking my connection now it is wanting me to log in to my google id so i can enter my email id or i can use create a new account so after filling up my email id and password it is checking info and trying to connect to my google account it is asking me to set up a payment method which i'll skip and select redeem remind me later so this is showing me a five day old backup i'm okay with it now this is asking me for consent for location data and etc and now this is restoring my data from my google account so now this is the new lollipop interface for unite 2 and this already looks like having clean master installed which i am not at all used to of using so i'll remove this bloatware once i root the device so now let's go to the settings it is all as you can see this seems to be pulled off from some micromax unite 2 which is from the newer lot and has android version 5.0 and the kernel version is 3.10.54 build number and everything looks like it is the uh, rom pulled from the phone itself seem it has sent an sms and uh, this has been come up congratulation on purchasing micromax handset so this looks like all the factory stuff and the bloatwares are working in the background which i'll try to disable in the coming video so this is the process on how to update your micromax unite 2 to android version 5 so before i conclude this video let me tell you this mobile is getting heated a lot and i can barely touch it the micromax logo on the back side is very very hot at the moment and i have not played any games on it yet and you can see the trending apps widget is continuously working and downloading some updates and downloading some stuff there is mi live there is mi games inside the work inside the application drawer i can see a lot of bloatware the hotstar mi live mi games and i can s s 
certainly feel that I need to root this device. There is a new option, a new software chats, new apps, askme.com, all this stuff will drain my battery pretty well. So I have to root this device now and I'll post a separate video for that. Please subscribe to my channel so I can give you a notification whenever I have update related Micromax Android 5 on Unite 2 handset and the routing procedure is coming up very soon. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Have a nice one.